How's it going? I hope you're doing good and great and I hope all the abundance and prosperity surrounds you. I hope your heart and your head is connecting and aligning and communicating with one another. Thank you so much for being here for another mindful moment. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath and exhale that out just to be present in this very moment. You and I here. I appreciate you and thank you. You know, I was talking to my homie earlier and he's probably actually one of the people who pushed me to do what I love. And I'm a huge advocate for wanting people to do what it is that they love because I'm blessed and grateful enough to be able to wake up and do exactly that and more. But that's not something I understood before this past year, right? I learned a lot of understanding that this past 2021 because I truly followed my calling, right? I feel like this is exactly what I'm meant to do in this lifetime. And it took a lot actually for me to pursue this as a lifelong career, right? A filmmaker, content creator, it's not just about that. I feel like I'm very passionate about wanting to make an impact and I've said that in past videos because that's kind of the, that's most of the angle, right? Is wanting to make an impact from what it is that I create. I have a lot of homies who are so talented, super fucking talented, man. And it's like, fuck, I could only do so much to help push you to really go a thousand percent in on what it is that you wanna do. Whether it's music, whether it's being a filmmaker, whether it's being a photographer, whatever it is, right? Because I was so scared to actually follow my dreams follow my calling follow this path to pursue my career as a filmmaker and a lot of that was because society instilled this fear in all of us to be a certain someone or a family right families have traditions to be someone who they want you you to be but not who you want to be yourself and sometimes that's what keeps us from doing what we want to do is because we're so scared of what other people would think. Right now, I didn't go the traditional route. I went to college though and changed my major a million times till I realized that I didn't want to do any of that shit. All that shit put me to sleep. I was fucking bored. So then my homie that I was talking to earlier is the one who pushed me to go to school for filmmaking. And that's kind of what really elevated my interest in it. And I was like, oh damn, like this is really what I love to do. And it's such a crazy thing because creativity is instilled in all of us, right? Every single person. And like I was mentioning earlier, I'm really like an advocate for wanting people to do what it is that they love because it is such a great feeling, right? It's such a, you get to wake up and do what it is that you love and make income out of it, you know? But then again, there's that fear that people have because of what one, people may think or two, financials and at first that's probably what was stopping me because I was just like as a filmmaker how would I make money how would I do this like how could I support my support my family this this and that like anything is fucking possible anything that you want to do is fucking possible I was talking to my homie last week and he was like they send motherfuckers to Mars if that shit is possible anything that you put your mind to is possible I, I promise you that it's it's just how bad you do you want it you know what I'm saying if if you want it that bad, you're gonna block out every outside noise that tries to tear that idea down. And that's that tries to tear you down as a person that you want to become. Because I'm gonna be completely transparent and blunt with you. Like I was stressing about financials. I was like tripping off of what this like path, where this path would lead me. Like as a filmmaker and creative in the very beginning, I was creating shit that like that I was feeling and projecting it out onto mine. When I look back at my work from years ago, it was all dark and depressing things. That, that's because I was myself dark and depressed, right? But I was channeling what I was feeling into my craft. And that's just how I got started. I was just doing and doing without even thinking about it. And then that's how I continue to learn. There's a bigger purpose as to why I do what I do and it's to make an impact. And honestly, I'm just so grateful. A lot of things this past year has really tenfolded for me. Like I've made more income than I've made my entire life. 
It's because I started to do what I wanted to do. And it's only going to continue to be better because I'm going to do what I want to do. I put my foot down and I shut the outside noise up and I did what I wanted to do. And granted, I'm still practicing a ton, right? Because there's still bit of fears here and there about, oh, what are they going to think when this and this and this? But as long as you're aware of how you want to do better and seeking for well-being, then that's already a step to being a better person. It's just this, I can't even, I can't even think about a time or the moment. I can't even think about the moment where I started to learn about like, for example, like in editing software, I use Premiere and After Effects and stuff. And I always literally sit there and I'm like, how the fuck did I learn After Effects? Right? I would just flow through shit and I just did it. I just hopped on it and learned as I went and stuff like that. It was just never really a stressor to me. Like, obviously I go through challenges in this lifetime, but I embrace them because it's doing what I love. Because I look at th those challenges as a learning curve to be a better filmmaker or be a better, like, creative, generally. But I believe it's just so important. Like, I'm not here to tell you what the fuck to do, but I'm just saying, as from experience, it's, I've never been better like I always think about how I'm literally living my best life it may not be the type of life where I'm traveling everywhere all over the world or whatever like that but I literally get to meet people right I cross paths with wonderful beautiful souls through this industry through collaborative projects and I feel like that's such a big thing to me because it's like not only do we form meaningful relationships but we get to impact the world together and I think that's one of the, like, that's, that's fucking awesome. At this point in my life, like, I've realized that we walk on the path that we need to be on to get to the one that we want to be on. And life happens for you and not to you. It's such a beautiful thing to walk down the path knowing that you're going to get to where you want to be in this life because you're putting in the work to get there. And you really do feel that because at this moment, I'm no longer pushing myself down the path and forcing anything. I'm allowing my calling to pull me because I'm naturally just flowing. And I'm allowing everything and anything to flow to and through me exactly how it should. And I really do hope the same for you. Like if there's something that you love doing, put more time into it. Like that fear is instilled us, but there's ways to unlearn that. There's every single day you wake up, you get an opportunity to unlearn things that try to hold you back from your success or what it is that you want to do no matter what it is and I hope that you follow your calling and I hope that you listen to your intuition and because that guides you to where you need to be it's been a really great time to sit here and express that with you I appreciate you for being here with me in this mindful moment where we're able to just express or listen and just really realize and learn that life is what you make it our soul arrives off of the joy that we create in this life i'm hoping you and yours are doing great let's remember to sit with ourselves be mindful and be great just as you are stay beautiful and i hope you have a good one cheers